pins. Lots of pins. Now, now actually, I'm just starting out in the pins world, man. So I'm 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 a novice when it comes to these pins. And honestly, I, I, you know, I'm a big Funko soda can and 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 uh, and um, pop collector. But I was exploring because if you know me from my channel, I'm a big Pennywise fan. So I started exploring other collectibles for Pennywise, and I found out Funko was doing. Well, I kind of knew that Funko was doing pins, so I thought I'd look into their pins. But while I was searching out these pins, I ended up stumbling across with something called Fig Pins, and I'm late to the game on these. These have been been around for a while. But uh, I end up picking up the three Pennywise, and I just thought it'd be neat to bring the two together and kind of see the differences and, and 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 to talk about them. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this one. I already did a video on, so I already got them out of the box for you. I didn't want to, you know, drag it out by having that one, uh, you know, done twice in the box. And some of these are really not easy to get open. So I've actually been it's, it's, it's taken me a while to get all these together to do this video. So I've, I've had a couple of these for a while and then the other ones came in and you know over time and then I got so many pops and other stuff coming, sodas coming in. I've been really busy, man, with getting that all set up. So anyway, uh, so let's pull him out. And I believe that this was, that was the first one I bought and I wanted to see what it looked like in real, per, in real life, you know, before I spent any money on getting this one. If I get it out of the box without tearing up the, the thing. Okay, so. There you go, and I believe that's the Chase, though my box doesn't say Chase on it. Uh, I guess some of them did, some of them didn't. I guess they just missed some stickers. Uh, the thing I do like about the Pennywise Funko pins uh, is that their their hair on both of them is flocked, um, so that, that that's a plus. Um, the things I don't like about the Pennywise uh, or Penny, uh, Funko pins is I love the fact that they got a stand you can stand them up real nice uh, the stand I don't know if that comes off or not I guess you yeah you can actually probably get that off if you didn't want the stand and so there's the two together and um, I, I really like them but when I was doing research it's just like the pops here versus the soda cans they don't tell you how many they made I think that would be for key for me to really start collecting Funko pins is if they would tell you, hey, we made you know five thousand of these and two thousand of those and so on and so forth. Where are these, like this one here, now this was the uh, New York Comic Con for uh, 2019. I don't have my glasses, so they only made 750 of these. And the thing I like about these so much more, let's go ahead and start getting him out of the box. So we, I don't want to drag the video out, like I said, too long. Uh, and again, I'm not really comparing the two, because if you love fig pins, or if you love the Funko pins, hey, great, you know, collect what you like, you know. Um, okay, let me get it out of there. Okay, set that over there. Okay. They have a little plastic stand on the back, and you'll see it in the pictures, and I'm gonna scroll so you can see the back of them. And the thing I like the most about these, now now all of them don't tell you what they're limited to. Uh, and then it, it gets a little complicated. I'm still learning it, so I'm a, I'm a novice in the fig pen world. But they have, like this one's just 750. But for like this one and this one, let's go ahead and pull these out, just kind of stick them side by side for you. They have different series. It'll be like series one, and then it'll have so many made in that series. And in a series two, then there'll be somebody made in that series on your common pins. I'm assuming that's how this works with these. Again, bear with me, I'm still learning. Um, there you go. And then we'll pull out this one. And the the thing I like the most, now again with pops and pop pins, you can go to you know their, their app and you can scan it in and then you can you can see the value of what the the, the, the pop and the pin and the uh, and a soda is worth according and, and, and I don't it's not written in stone to me because it, it's like the stock market those prices are constantly going up and down all the time and I don't think they take in consideration when they're finding some of these pricings that you know some are damaged boxes some are in steam boxes and some are used and they just I think they just come up with an average price and I don't think it's the most accurate 
But uh, and it, you got to remember, I come from the coin world where we have levels, you know, all the way up to, to 70, which is a perfect coin, all the way down, you know, and there's different levels, and that, that's how they grade them. Well, they don't really do that with these. The thing I, I like about this is it's, it's almost, and it's going to be a picture coming up, each one of these gets scores. And I'm not the best person to ask on how the scores break down, but there are several different aspects of the of the pin when you unlock it. So when you buy them, they're locked if they're new and never been unlocked. So you put in a serial number, which is on the back of the pin, and then uh, you input that into the app, and it breaks it all down for you and lets you know what score your pin is. And then over time, from the way I understand it, is you build up all these scores, and then you can get exclusive pins with the with the you know with so much score you have and then you get locked out for so much time again I'm not the best I'm learning uh, but I, I these things are made really really well the detail in them uh, it to me is just phenomenal um, but these are you know obviously there's more realistic to the to the character that they're representing to more of a of a you know a uh, exaggerated cartoonish version of the character and I I love them both um, if I was to say that hey I'm going to be collecting pins which honestly I think I'm, I'm going to start doing is since I'm so new to this I may do a, a segment of my channel now every Sunday because you I'm trying to do pops and sodas on Tuesdays and Fridays release videos and then now I'm, I'm thinking about doing a Sunday show and I might use my old setup I haven't it's not set up yet and do just pins yeah because I'm I already have all the pins that came in and I just been busy uh, and I might start doing that since I'm so new to this you can watch my my score grow and I can show you my collection as I'm collecting since I'm well, when I started this channel I already had all a lot of pops but this would be neat and it's more of a document of my, my own growth as far as this collection goes so i think that'd be neat i hope you guys enjoy it. i know most of you're here for the you know for the funkos and and uh, the sodas and the, and the pops but I, I still i'm a collector of a lot of things and i and i when i stumbled onto these fig pens and these pens i just i don't know i like them it's like the soda cans at first i kind of i kind of blew them off you know <laughs> and i was like nah, i ain't collecting those man i'm not i thought it was like dorbs you know or something and not for the i know people out there like the dorbs not a big fan uh sorry but uh i i really thought that yeah you know it, 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 it's a thing you know that's okay but these i hope the pictures are really done well for you guys so you can actually see the detail in these and again like I said they're serial numbered so you know exactly which one and, and another thing they add is is you they number you when you unlock your pin what number what like say there was 750 uh, I don't remember what mine is off the top of my head I'll have it in a scan but it, it, 750 you were like the 350th person to unlock that pin in that series of 750 it's really neat the way they did that you really have to check out the fig pin uh, app if you're going to get into fig pins it's it's and eventually they're going to get into battles and stuff with scores and stuff like i don't understand how all that's going to work yet uh, like i said i'm still learning uh, but the one thing I, I just wish funko would do more and they're doing it with the sodas and that's one of the things i love the most about the sodas is they tell you on every single one of the sodas how many they make because like i said i think in one of my other videos a limited edition and i learned that from sports cards many many moons ago when i used to collect sports cards is like a hundred thousand sports cards and that's your limited edition you know to me a hundred thousand is just not a limited edition to me now i'm sure they don't make that many of these uh, i don't remember off the top of my head what these numbers are but i guess i should have wrote that down for this video but uh anyway uh, and oh one of the, I, I wish i could remember who it was and i apologize for not remembering but one of the com uh, one of my comments from my last video for this pin, he said, "Hey, those pin boxes fit in a regular stacks case." Thank you for sharing it. I I hadn't tried it yet and didn't even think about it, honestly. So actually, I'm going to display these in a stock. Uh, you know, uh, they'll actually go up here somewhere as soon as I get another box. I'm all out of boxes uh, with my other Pennywise now. Well, then again, I might have that other set, man. I might have to do another set with pins on that side. But then this is Funko. This will be uh, a fig pen. Hey, 
anyway, what do you guys think? I mean, do you guys like them? Do you think it's uh, something you'd be interested in collecting? Uh, let me know. I like them. I think I'm going to continue doing it, and I think I'm going to do this segment every Sunday with, you know, uh, the fig pins and any other Funko pins that I decide to pick up. So... I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was something a little different. Uh, and uh, if you did, man, you stuck it out this long. <laughs> think about giving me a thumbs up. And, and if you're new, subscribe, man. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to do... Now, I can't guarantee it, but I'm going to try to do Tuesday, Friday, and Sundays. So on that, I'm going to end it. You guys have a great day, man. And I will see you guys in the next video. Keep collecting and have lots of fun doing it. I'll see you, next, I'll see you in the next, next video. <laughs> have a good one, guys.